Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka Bhargay, your sugar makeup expert for today. So for this spring summer season, I'll be showing you an amazing poppy bright makeup look. So I'll first start off with my eyes. For my eyes today, I'll be using the Sugar Cosmetics Blend the Rules Eyeshadow Quad in 16 Roar. Look at the packaging, it is so bright and poppy, exactly how I'm going to create my eye makeup. So these are the shades in this palette and I'm going to be using all these four shades on my eyes today. So there are two matte shades and two shimmery shades shades. So yes, let's quickly get started. So first off, I'll start with this round shade and I'll put this all over my crease. Next, I'll be taking this beautiful peachy pinky matte shade as my transition and I'll be using the same brush. The best thing about these eyeshadows is they are really soft and they blend very easily. Now with this clean fluffy brush, I'll blend both the colors. Next, I'll be taking this beautiful dark purpley shade which is shimmery and I'll pat this on the outer corners of my eyelid. Now with the same brush which I used for my transition shade, I'll be blending the eyelid color as well as the crease shade. Next shade is this beautiful gold shade which I'll be putting on the center of my eyelids. This gold gives a beautiful pop to my eyes. Now with this fluffy blending brush, I'll blend all the shades. Remember one thing, to get that perfect eye makeup, you should always blend your eyeshadows properly. So the next step is eyeliner. I'll be using the Sugar Cosmetics I Want You So Double Matte Eyeliner in 01 Black Swan. I'll create a thin wing eyeliner at the end of my eyelids. Next step is to wear a mascara and I'll be using the Sugar Cosmetics Lash Mob Limitless Mascara in 01 Black with the Bang. So the next step is eyebrows. I'll be using the Sugar Cosmetics Arch Arrival Brow Definer in 01 Jerry Brown. Always remember to first comb your eyebrows well. I'll be lightly filling my brows and especially the gaps. Always follow the shape of your brows. Keep brushing your brows in between to distribute the color. You can see the difference clearly. My eyebrows filled and one which is not filled. Now my eyes are done, I'll move on to the face. For my face today, I'll be using the Sugar Cosmetics Ace of Face Foundation Stick in 01 Latte. So first, I'll be dotting this product all over my face. Remember to take a very little product because this product is highly pigmented so you do not need much. The most unique thing about this foundation stick is this brush. This comes with an inbuilt brush which is great for blending your foundation. Look at this amazing finish of this foundation guys, this is unbelievable, this is blending so nicely. This brush is really soft and it is making my foundation blend really effortlessly. This has blended into my skin so nicely, it doesn't look like I'm wearing a foundation, it looks exactly like my second skin. Next, to set my foundation in place, I'll be using this compact powder by Sugar Cosmetics which is the as nude as it gets in SPF 15 and I'm in the shade 01 Latte. I'll pat this powder especially more on my T-zone where I tend to get more oily. 
So one thing about this compact powder is it does not make your face look cakey or powdery. It gives a beautiful natural finish to your skin. Now coming back to my eyes, I'll be using the same crease shades for my lower lash line which is these two matte shades. With my same eyeliner, I'll be lining my lower lash line. I will be bringing this upward shade down. I am not going to pull it completely, I'm just going to go halfway. So that's it. Now moving on to my lower lashes, I'll be again wearing my mascara. For my waterline, I'll be using the Sugar Cosmetics Twist and Shout Fade Proof Kajal in 01 Black Velvet. Just remember how I'm applying this kajal. I'm pulling my skin with my pinky finger and not using my other hand. You don't have to pull your skin with another hand because that will create more wrinkles. So use the same hand by which you're wearing the kajal. Now moving on to the face, I'll be using the Contour the Force Face Palette in 01 Subtle Summit. I am using this contour shade to give structure to my face and hence I am using it on my forehead, below my cheekbones and on my jawline. Now moving on to the blush. Now taking this clean fluffy brush, I'll blend the contour shade and blush. Blending makes it look even and does not show any harsh lines. Now moving on to the highlighter. I'll be highlighting the highest points of my face. Starting with the bridge of my nose, my cheekbones, also a little on my chin. Also, do not forget your inner corners of the eyes. These are the areas where the light hits more on the face and helps the highlighter to pop more. Next, moving on to the lips, I will be using the Sugar Cosmetics Smudge Me Not Liquid Lipstick in 26 Rose Repos. This shade is a beautiful peachy pink shade which is perfect for summers and it is looking amazing with my makeup. Make sure to recreate this look and tag us in your post. Like, subscribe, share and comment on our channel. Till then, bye!